I could love you if you let me Then you kissed my cheek and said How easy you'd forget me, you'd say Butterflies are free And so are we <coughs> Listen, the one thing that drives me up the wall is pity I don't want it, and I don't need it. Please, don't feel sorry for me. I don't feel sorry for me, why should you? I was born blind. It may have been different if I had been able to see, and then went blind, but for me, blindness is normal. I was six years old before I realized everybody else wasn't blind, and by that time, it didn't make much difference, so just relax, okay? You know, you'd be surprised how many people have never met a blind man before. It's because we're a small, very select group of people. Like Eskimos. How many Eskimos do you know? <laughs> and blindness isn't hereditary. I've never heard that. Then again, I doubt my father can see. Though he's been dead for six years. <laughs> Up until then, he didn't have much trouble, though. <laughs> I really miss him. It's been really hard on Mom since he died, because she feels that she has to be mother and father. And sister, and brother, and cousin, and uncle, and doctor, and lawyer, senator, <laughs> congressman. <laughs> the doctors never said why I was born blind. They said it was a, a virus in the womb when my mother was pregnant, which means they don't know. Whenever they don't know something, they label it virus. <laughs> I have heard, though, that women with syphilis will give birth to blind babies. The whether or not my mother could have syphilis. Wait till you meet her and tell me what you think. <laughs> you may have heard of her, actually. She wrote a couple of books. It was a series of children's books. Guess what they were about? A little blind kid named Little Donnie Dark. Donnie is 12 years old and was born blind like me. Only it is no handicapped little Donnie Dark. Oh no, he can. Hear a bank being robbed a mile away, and he can smell the terrorists cooking up a plot to overthrow the government. <laughs> he's a diligent fighter of crime and injustice, and at the end of every book, as he's been given a letter by the CIA or the FBI or whatever, he always says, There are none so blind as those who will not see. They were pretty popular. No Harry Potter, but pretty popular. Unless, unless it is you happen to be blind. They didn't, they didn't exactly tell it like it is, you know what I mean? I guess the books were sort of a projection of what my mother hoped I'd be. A sightless Superman. I went to school in the living room. I was taught by tutors who teach the blind. There are schools for the blind, but I didn't know that then. I didn't know much of anything up until about a year ago. A family named Fletcher moved near us, and their daughter, Linda, she used to come by and read to me. She was the first friend I had after my father died. She was great, a real swinger. She used to take me down here and take me to parties and introduce me to people, and all of a sudden I was living and learning at home. Uh, I was a pet in a cage, but Linda gave me something nobody ever thought to give me. Confidence. She uh, talked me into making the break and helped me find this place. At first I was scared to death, but I did it. It was a mistake, I don't know. She got married a few weeks ago and she's living in Chicago. I wish you were here. Things would be a lot easier, you know what I mean? But anyway, you're here now. Look, I'm not the worldliest human being on the block, but I do know that when you're rushing into the arms of the man you love, you don't stop for a corned beef sandwich on rye. <laughs> Why are you leaving? And don't give me that crap about loving Ralph, okay? Oh, you're scared to death of becoming involved, aren't you? That's right, you told me. No commitments, no responsibilities. What if I got tired of you? <laughs> Hasn't occurred to you, has it? Doesn't anyone ever get tired of you? <laughs> With Ralph, you could get out any time you wanted. But it might be harder walking out on a blind guy, right? And don't tell me that my blindness has nothing to do with it, because you know goddamn well it has. 
You wouldn't feel a thing walking out on Ralph or Sebastian or Irving. But if you walked out on little Donnie Dark, you might just hate yourself. And you wouldn't like that, would you? Hate me or love me, but don't leave because I'm blind and don't stay because I'm blind. I don't know who Sebastian or Irving are. No, no, I made them. <laughs> it's just you hurt everybody else. Why do I write special treatment? I guess I'll be seeing you. I'll think about you for years to come and wonder if you ever made a commitment, if you ever got involved. And don't worry, it won't happen. Because you're emotionally retarded. Did you know that? <laughs> That's why you couldn't face marriage. That's why you can't face anything permanent, anything real. You're walking out of me now because you're afraid you might fall in love with me. And you're too adolescent for that responsibility, and you're going to stay that way. Oh, God, I feel sorry for you because you're crippled. I'd rather be blind.